Hello there, my name is Mason and welcome to Science with Mason. Well, hello there, my name is Mason and welcome to Science with Mason. With me, Mason. In this segment, your favourite scientist, Mason, is going to explain to you how everything works around you. Making the world around you a little less mysterious, one saucepan or microwave or toothbrush at a time. So if you follow me this way, we're going to get started on the first step of the scientific process. Do you know what the first step of the scientific process is? I'll give you a second. That's right, washing your hands. And we're going to turn the water and we're going to make it a little warmer because heat kills bacteria always. Quick fun fact time. If you all have ever seen a salt shaker before, you might notice that the little holes get clumped up with salt. Sometimes you want to put little nuts in the salt so that they won't clump. At least I think that's why I, I, don't, I didn't do it myself. The first thing I see when I look ahead of me is a refrigerator. All right, now the refrigerator makes your food or whatever that you put into it colder. When things are colder, they spoil less easily. Uh, because it is like time is freezing. <laughs> now this, my friends here, behind me, shh, it's an oven. That's right. Now, ovens are the magical heat boxes that cook your food because they make the surrounding environment from the yam or whatever you're cooking uh, really, really hot. Now, unlike a regular oven, what a lot of you young people might be using to cook your food is called a microwave. Microwaves are very different than regular ovens. And you see, ovens use convection currents, which means they take heat from outside and they work it inward, which is why the middle gets warm last. Microwaves, on the other hand, they heat all the way through at the same time. And we call that witchcraft. No one knows how we do it. We dug holes, we found them, and we were like, I don't know how this works, but Pop-Tarts, all right. And speaking of fire, it's time to move on to the centerpiece of most kitchens, the stove top. Now you might be wondering how you can twist a little knob and suddenly, suddenly, fire comes out like magic. The reason for that is because the stove top stores flammable gases. Flammable is a two-part word. Flam like flame and able as in competent. When I cook, I like to listen to music and play it in the kitchen. Now the thing about sound and music and speakers is that they're all possible because of a thing called sound waves. Now sound waves, they travel through the air and they go into your ear and they reflect off your inner ear and that's how you perceive sound. Sound waves, much like the ocean, also have things like amplitude and decibels. And so, all waves are the same. That's right, when you're listening to music, just know that that sound is actually light. And when you listen to music, you're really listening to the ocean. Have you ever wondered why when you sit in a chair, the chair is much lighter than you, but you don't crush it when you sit on it? That's because of something that's called distribution of force. So the chair distributes more weight among four points if it has four legs. That makes me a lot less heavy to the fragile chair and suddenly it can support my weight because it has four legs to distribute the weight into which is why you can sit on your dog. Now let's see, rats have four legs, horses. We sit on horses because they have four legs just like chairs. They're like big moving majestic chairs that live in meadows. Spiders have eight legs which is why you can sit on them twice. Alright boys and girls, thank you for joining us today. Make sure you let me know if you want to learn about anything new, and I'll see you. That was me, Mason, on Science with Mason. <laughs>